r slash ask reddit how can people afford to participate in grand jury trials that take 12 to 18 months you can explain that you cannot participate due to financial hardship and they decide whether or not to exempt you from participating or just casually say of hand i think jury nullification should be exercised when necessary i've known people who did longer cases and they only had court to attend once or twice a week plus some jobs do pay for jury duty this carrot every job I've ever worked had a jury duty policy where they'll pay you any days you're summoned for jury duty. Only once or twice a week. I sat on a federal grand jury. It was two full days a month for 18 months. Fun time. I spent six months on a grand jury and we met just twice, each time for just two or three days. We were handed two unrelated murders, actually, one involved three homicides as I recall, and asked to return our decisions about indicting the two individuals in each case, we handed down indictments in both cases. Work-wise, it was hardly an imposition at all. I would be financially ruined, the jury pay is crap here and the last time I served I was not paid. Small Towns FTW Grand Jury and Trail Jury are two different things. My wife did Grand Jury and it was two days a week for two to three months. Her company paid for all her jury hours since she was salary. And GT, Trail Jury. Those are reserved for cowboy justice. Government employees are allowed to. Retirees are a big part of that pool as well. Have a job where the employer will pay your full normal salary while you're at jury duty. My employer would cover my salary but I still imagine this would be a career limiting move. Someone I know is currently on a grand jury. The length is 18 months. However, they only meet one time per month. It's tough. I've been on a federal grand jury for 18 months and they just extended us for another 6 months. We meet every other week. I lose out on OT those days. I think you mean petite jury. Grand juries don't hear trials. Most grand juries don't last nearly this long. My former employer would pay me like normal and any money from the court was turned over to the employer. I'm about to go to my final grand jury session. Where I am it is a 13 month term. 3 days a month. Federal grand jury is only to charge people with crimes. They are on a set schedule and see many many cases. Trial juries are the ones that determine guilt. Hey race a video that is shown to federal grand jurors during orientation. Link. Plot twist, most people can't. Everyone has to legally be given time off for jury duty at least in the US and Canada a fake. The pay is pretty shit though and sometimes you're basically in solitary confinement in a hotel if the case has a lot of media buzz. My wife is currently in month 15 of 18 months. In our local county, it is at most 3 different days per month. Thankfully her job compensates whatever money that the government doesn't cover in her daily earnings. So the only real loss is more gasoline used having to drive further into the county seat to attend each case up for trial. Grand juries aren't trial juries. Those are petty juries. They hear dozens of cases and decide whether to indict or not. They nearly always indict because the day isn't going to bring forward a case that doesn't have enough evidence to support a trial. A grand jury will meet for several months, but not every day of the work week. Petit juries are the ones that hear trials. They only hear one trial and issue the verdict. Once that trial is over, they are disbanded. I have a government job that would pay me the same rate even if I don't work. Grand juries are different than juries which hear actual trials. Grand juries meet a couple times a month to decide if there is enough information to charge a person with a crime. And you get protections from being fired and paid for your time. I got selected for jury duty twice. First time I was a student on a study visa and wasn't eligible. Still not sure how I got picked. Second time I was eligible since I was a permanent resident, but was disqualified due to working for a news station and knowing background details of the case due to communications between reporters and police. Some are retired and looking for something that relives the boredom of everyday life. I'm retired and would love to be in a court jury for that long. The trials and jury don't convene every single day. Usually, it's one to three court dates, followed by months apart. Yeah, my boss had to do grand jury, met every Tuesday for 6 weeks. Why don't they just do 2 consecutive weeks rather than 1 day a month for a year? Deleted. Served as a county grand juror for 24 months. We only met 1 8 hour day per month during that period. Many months we'd get a call the day before cancelling that month's meeting. I was working for myself at the time, so it wasn't too difficult to shuffle things around to get my work done and still serve on the jury, which was fascinating. Yeah since you know the days slash times you're meeting it's annoying but it's easily workaroundable. Hello everyone. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. 
I really appreciate it. I just wanted to humbly ask you to subscribe to the channel. According to my statistics, 100% of my viewers in the past 28 days are not subscribed. I have always wanted this channel to reach 1000 subscribers, and if you want to support and be a part of that, subscribe. It's free and it's an awesome way to support the channel. Thanks again, Reddit glitch out.